Good evening everyone, this is Henry with Simpler Trading and in tonight's free video I wanted to start off by letting you know that the new edition of Mastering the Trade is going to be coming out tomorrow on December 18th and if you'd like to pick it up you can visit MasteringTheTrade.com, buy it through Amazon and then if you send your receipt to book at SimplerTrading.com it will get you a hundred dollar gift card to use inside the Simpler Trading store a shirt and an awesome little cup and then also <laughs> access to the webinar that John's going to be doing the introduction to trading masterclass on January 2nd so if you're interested in that and we're going to pick up the book anyway I figured you might want to know about it and now on into some charts so a couple of things to think about today because there was quite a bit of volatility and heading into the Fed you think all right is that going to be what saves us well as it sits right now any saving that comes from the Fed I would like to come in and look at the opportunity of shorting and the couple of places I'm gonna look at it you know one way of showing charts is to look at this off of your standard daily and you know there's a retracement in here that you might be able to argue as support ultimately the daily chart doesn't strike me as being um, all that obvious but if you take two days worth of action and combine it into a single bar which is what's shown by looking at something like a five-year two-day chart it really paints a very different picture and these are some signals that I think will be driving the next serious move in these products and as this squeeze starts to shift back to the downside as the move into the 8 and 21 is sold I treat that as being a pretty standard bearish setup and at least something where you could break down into these new lows. So, um, like I said, it doesn't look super obvious on the daily, but I think keeping that two-day chart in mind is very important. And then I'm doing the same thing with Amazon, where if you look at this, you could argue that this is some type of an inverted head and shoulders. But the way that I feel about it is that Amazon had a personality to it. You know, you look back in here and you can see the declines and how they... You know, they all stayed within a certain dollar type of decline. This broke all of that and really just made a new environment for it. And it's something that, you know, you could look at it and say, well, it broke the trend line. I don't really love running trend lines, but I do love looking at symmetry and saying that, you know, with a deeper downside correction than what we've seen in the past, you have to acknowledge that this is, you know, potentially a bigger move lower. If you come back into the two-day chart, you can see that exact same signal. So, you know, taking it a step at a time, but back up into 1658, you know, obviously we're trading a bigger product here, so you've got to give it some wiggle room, but back up into that area would all be a bearish opportunity. And one last chart I thought I'd leave you with something a little smaller, um, EA, just your standard basic short setup. Now, I understand that coming in and shorting new lows is not always necessarily very exciting, but since, I you know, a lot of people kind of get accustomed to buying things, think about if you were to shift this chart just by throwing a minus sign in front of it you can get the inverse view and what would you do with a chart like this well you'd be buying it you know as it held these levels and then buying more of it when you came down into the moving averages so by that way of thinking you know you want to do just the inverse on EA and for me uh, anything back up into about 81.62 and 84.37 above it will be opportunities to get short and then look for the signal to break into new lows so I hope that's helpful. You guys have a great rest of your night, and we will see you at the next free video.